<laughs> Compromise does not exist in this world. The world's every step meets the rest in this world. Where life is wrong in this world. Never fear the fall in this world. Where compromise does not exist in this world. The world's every step meets the rest. <laughs>
What the hell? That's it? Okay. A, B, seven, six. I'm confused because... I'm upset because the last time I actually forgot to put these and it really ended up hurting me. Wow, so intense. <laughs> that was pretty epic. The oh, festival man. was beautiful and then straight into the chasm and... I know, yeah. things got dark real fast in that trailer. <laughs> it's like everybody was having a lot of fun and then it's serious time <laughs> with yeah. Yeah. that what? music. And an introduction by Kamisato Ayato. Uh, yes. Of course, of course. Our new character. <laughs> and yeah. as always, speaking of Ayato, let's dive in by taking a look at our new playable character, Kamisato Ayato. Let's see what we got. Oh, the boba tea. All right. I like that sword. I kind of wish that he wasn't a sword user. I kind of wanted him to be a claymore user or a spear user. Jeez. <laughs> Most people hunker down against a strong headwind. Only a few know how to utilize it to their advantage. And he's voiced by Akira Ishida in Japanese, who does Byaki Tagami. Ooh, looking pretty <laughs> sleek. Wow. That voice, though. Pretty how, <laughs> powerful yet elegant. Just saying. Oh, man. I just... Oh, his moves look so cool. The elemental burst, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. That, like, flashy thing in there. That's <laughs> yeah. so cool. Love it. I love his elegance as he fights and moves. Really, all of his animations feel very elegant to yeah. me. And yeah. Did you guys catch him drinking boba tea too? <laughs> uh, look, man, I'm... <laughs> He's got one! <sighs> Anytime's a good time for boba. Just saying. I agree, but wait, wait, where, where did you even get that from? <laughs> shh, shh, shh. Kamisato what? family, no, Kamisato family secret. What? Huh? If you're really wondering, in-game Ayato buys his milk tea from a little food stall in Inazuma City. I gotta find that place. <laughs> you know, but it's quirks like that that Ayato has that makes people wonder if he's kind of spoiled even though he's served as the head of the Kamisato clan for some time now. For example, he always gives any defective looking food he makes to Toma and- Hey, 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 the Kamisato clan has an image to keep up, okay? All right. Well, I think we can all feel sorry for Toma now. <laughs> poor Toma. Oh, and speaking poor of which, the first impression many of us ever had of Ayato was actually from Ito's character teaser. He was that mysterious voice at the end of the video. Oh. You, know, you know, actually, uh, it turns out that Ito has a pretty good opinion of Ayato. I mean, Ito even calls him bro. You know, that's interesting because I'm curious how those two could possibly get along. You know, Ito is, is you know, he's real and a simple and down-to-earth kind of Oni. But all it takes is a few words from Ayato and Ito's super inspired and ready to take on any challenge. Yeah, Ayato cool. does have that effect on people. For those who don't know, he came to the position as the head of the Kamisato clan at a very young age and was able to bring the clan back to its feet while facing some huge difficulties at the time. And while we're on the subject of Yato, Chris, why don't you give us a closer look at some of his skills? Sure, leave it to me. I can't not hear Dimitri in his... Kamisato Ayato wields a sword and is a master of the Kamisato art Tachijutsu, just like his sister. However, what sets him apart is his hydro vision. In combat, Ayato can unleash large AoE damage in a short amount of time and is capable of increasing the effects of his team's normal attacks. After using his nice. elemental skill, Kamisato Art Kyoka, Ayato shifts positions to enter the Takimeguri Kanka state and leaves a watery illusion at his original location. The watery illusion can explode, dealing AoE hydro damage. In the Takimeguri Kanka state, Ayato's normal attacks become Shunsuiken, which are like quick watery blades capable of dealing AoE hydro damage. After a Shunsui can attack hits an opponent, it will grant Ayato the Nami State <coughs> effect, increasing the damage dealt by Shunsui can based on Ayato's current max HP. The Takimeguri Kanka State will be cleared when Ayato leaves the field or when he uses his elemental skill again. 
so sounds like we better be careful if we don't want to accidentally cancel a state. Exactly. Next, he has a passive talent, Kamisato Art Mine wo Matoishi Kiyotaki, which means Lucid Rapid Spiraling the Summit, in case you were wondering. With this talent, when Ayato uses name. his elemental skill and when the water illusion explodes, he will gain a set amount of Namisen stacks. Ayato's elemental burst, Kamisato Art Suyu, will unveil a garden of purity in which bloom water blades will rain down and attack opponents within its AoE. Ooh, sounds pretty. <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> this will increase the normal attack damage of characters within that AoE. After unlocking another passive talent, Kamisato Art Michiyuku Hagetsu, if Ayato is not on the field and his energy is low, he will regenerate a set amount of energy at regular intervals. In daily life, Ayato's more indulgent side tends to come out from time to time. With his passive talent, Kamisato Art Daily Cooking, when Ayato cooks a dish perfectly, he has a set chance to receive an additional suspicious dish of the same type. Which I'm pretty sure he just turns in send straight to Toma. Oh, yup. Oh, oh god damn it. Guys, He's got the same as Hu Tao. That's why Toma could eat all the strange stuff during the hot pot game before. He's had a lot of practice eating weird things. Oh, oh no wonder. That makes so much sense now. <laughs> oh, it does. Good point. In all seriousness, though, I think that the passive talent is, it's really simple, but it's pretty interesting. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about how travelers can get Kamisato Ayato in the new version. What's the new banners? Yep, it's time to dive into oh. the coming event wishes. Ayato will be available for the earlier part of version 2.6 via the Azure Excursion event. God damn it, I want both him and Venti. At the same Venti. time, Venti will also be available via his own event wish called Ballad in Goblets. All right, we're getting another Venti rerun. Yeah, yeah. and <laughs> that's not all. In the later part of version 2.6, Kamisato Ayaka will be returning for her first rerun. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> As for the new weapon event wish, travelers will see an all-new Inazuman five-star sword called Harin Gepaku Futsu. So be sure to keep an eye out for that as well. I'm going to try and gun In for version both 2. of them, 6, but takes Kamisato priority. Kamisato Ayato's very own story quest, Cypress's Custos chapter, will also be available for travelers to play through. As the Sokoku Decree has been lifted, and Inazuma is welcoming in a new era of progress, the Tenryo and Kanjo Commissions are presented with a rare, joyous occasion. But beneath the surface of this happy time, trouble is stirring. As head of the Yashiro Commission, Ayato will find himself in an unusual position. Everybody can look forward to exploring all of this amazing new story. Wow. Yeah, it's going to be really cool, especially uh, the Traveler and Ayato meeting for the very first time. Yeah! Yeah, that's going to be so exciting. If you're looking forward to playing this new story quest, then just remember to save up those story keys. You know I will. <laughs> All right, <laughs> now that we've seen the new character coming our way, let's Tell jump them. into the all-new area Travelers will be able to explore in version 2.6. In our previous special program, we gave everyone a sneak preview of the new area called the Chasm. Ooh. Let's watch a quick trailer to see what travelers can expect to encounter during their adventures in this new area. Let's go. <laughs> oh, this music is awesome. The ruined serpent. Is it a boss or is it just a new enemy? What's that? A four star weapon billet and an all new name card. Wow. Nice. In the chasm, Sweet. travelers will also discover a new brand artifacts. new artifact domain called the Lost Valley. Inside the domain, you'll discover a mysterious Artisan environment as boundless and majestic as the chasm itself. 
completing the challenge in this domain will award travelers cool. with artifacts from the vermilion hereafter and echoes of an offering artifact sets mm -hmm. and well, that's quite what would high. be a new area without some new story content Yay. in addition to everything we've covered so far a whole new storyline will be taking place down in the chasm it's gonna be cool yes with version 2.6, the new Archon Dang, quest, back. Requiem of the Echoing Depths, will become available for travelers to continue their adventures. Everyone who's been following the story of our favorite twins will definitely be excited for this one, <coughs> me included. <laughs> <laughs> and if that isn't enough, the one and only Daneslift will also be making another appearance during the story. Oh, Ooh. it's been a pretty long time since we've seen Daneslift. Yeah, it has, totally. yeah. And in this storyline, travelers will be meeting up with Dane's in one the one dark depths of the castle to think. investigate some ancient ruins it's together. It's been like a whole year. Throughout the quest, we'll be learning a lot more about Conria as well as the Abyss. It will be a truly unforgettable adventure as we will uncover secrets of the past together. So you're saying it'll be a bit of a cliffhanger? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're dead! And in addition to Good the one. Archon quest and world quests, there are still many mysteries that remain hidden in the depths of the chasm. There will be much more for travelers to experience in the chasm with future version updates. So please look forward to that. I know I will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Next, hey, we'll be hey, introducing a what? new event for everyone called Hues of the Violet Garden. Ooh. Yeah, that's right. So... <laughs> As we mentioned at the start of the program, there will be a festival taking place in Inazuma. The theme of this event goes hand in hand with the festival being organized by the Yashiro Commission and Yaimiko. With a festival focusing on culture and creativity, travelers will not only have Want the opportunity to, to meet guests hailing from other nations, but also finally see some familiar faces again. Oh, okay. Clean Yoimiya me! Interested to see what Yoimiya and Clee are up to. That seems like a pretty interesting combo. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm just excited to go around. <laughs> so and many see characters. Yeah. I love these. What is he doing? No. <laughs> what is he ever doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, throughout pizza. the event, we will be experiencing some interesting stories alongside those characters at the festival. And there may even be Kazuha. some unexpected characters making an appearance. Nice. So, travelers will have to wait and see who shows up this time. As we progress through the storyline, we'll have the <laughs> opportunity to enjoy a variety of Iridori festival games. There are a total of four different kinds of event gameplay. This is so kind of like Windblown. Let's take a closer look. First, we have the Moon and Stars Inscribe. Travelers will meet a bard from Mondstadt in search of inspiration among Inazuma's unique landscapes. During the event, travelers can gain a poetic theme and take pictures based on the hints to submit to the commissioner. The more pictures we supply, the easier it will be for them to compose more lines of poetry. Travelers can then choose the lines they prefer and help complete the composition. All right, sounds easy enough. I'm sure our travelers can handle this one. <laughs> oh, for sure. Experienced travelers who are familiar with the map and terrain will definitely be able to quickly find the best spots for photos. Our next event gameplay will be a familiar one for our audience. It's Theater Mechanicus. I'm sure many of you have already again. played this game. God and this damn it. Around, there will be some new I hate Theater Mechanicus. It's so Kamukata arduous. Kamukata is promoting the latest version of Theater Mechanicus. And in such a large international cultural event, there's been some innovations made to attract the attention of the organizers and visitors. Sweet. In the all-new Theater Mechanicus stage of brilliance, each stage will have its own special stage features. Travelers will need to work these features into their strategy to swiftly clear each challenge. What's also different this time around is that travelers will need to equip wondrous sticks before entering each stage. This will be a real test for our ability God to make combinations. Make more the game mode has also been streamlined to reduce the amount of time required to play. Upon entering a stage, travelers will find some mechanicae that have already been placed. You may choose to modify or dismantle them, or build more mechanicae oh, around okay. them to create optimum combinations that will swiftly handle enemies coming your way. <laughs> Our third Bye. event mode is called Clash of Lone Blades, which is an all-new challenge centered around sword fighting. Ooh. After unlocking this game mode, a new duel against a swordmaster with unique abilities will unlock each day. During the challenge, players will control the Traveler, and will be unable to use their elemental skill and elemental burst, but instead can use an all-new parry mechanic. 
Performing oh, cool. a parry will allow you to take a defensive stance and reduce incoming damage. Travelers may focus and master the timing to perform a perfect parry, which will give you the upper hand in the challenge. Cool. <laughs> Sounds pretty challenging. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> it's also worth mentioning that our final and strongest opponent for this challenge happens to be someone who had no choice but to join the competition due to difficult financial circumstances. It turns out they are just an average store owner with their hearts set on winning that prize money. Who would have guessed you'd find such tough opponents from just in town? <laughs> Travelers <laughs> yeah. should get ready to take on opponents in one-on-one -on -one duels. Uh oh, and... Last but not least, we have an Ikebana event called the Floral Courtyard. In this event, travelers will need to follow. This is basically just Inazuma's version of the Windbloom Festival in the Lantern Ride, the is which is good. Of different parts, with each part what, having more different of these materials flowers and stuff? Them. After completing a theme, travelers may actually use the courtyard they receive and place it in the Serena Teapot. Ikebana is an art form, so when travelers are creating a floral courtyard, they need to incorporate their own interpretation of beauty. So what you're saying is, if your courtyard is looking ugly, then you're probably doing it wrong. <laughs> hmm. Ah, I see you. Oh, uh, speaking of Ikebana, Ayaka is the sponsor behind the Ikebana event. Yay! Uh, Ayaka's More very Ayaka. skilled at Ikebana. Of course he is. <laughs> You know, she invests in the promotion of this event every year, and that it's one of her greatest joys. Yep, that sounds like Ayaka. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to see more of Ayaka. That's She's best girl. can share about this event for now. After participating in all four of these special event game modes and reaching certain criteria, travelers will be able to invite Shincho to join their team for free. So, Sweet. don't forget to try out all the events. Yeah, maybe you'll find a new favorite. Yeah, give him a shot. <laughs> Everyone should be sure to have a good look around the festival. The streets of Rito will be specially decorated throughout the Iridori Festival, so everyone can enjoy the lively and exciting atmosphere. Mm-hmm. That's right. This is one festival you won't want to miss. Oh, no. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Version 2.6 will also be featuring an event for travelers who enjoy spending time in the kitchen. The event is called Spices from the West. In this event, a person from Sumeru is visiting to do Ayata research on seasoning. She hopes to find someone who can help her conduct her research by making seasonings according to recipes and taste test dishes using these seasonings. You know, if there's food involved, I'm sure Paimon won't be far off. <laughs> it's me, Paimon, and I'm hungry! Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> <laughs> New seasoning recipes will gradually unlock over the course of the event, cool. and all the recipes will be available before the event ends. When you begin making the seasonings, the needle on the slider will move back and forth from edge to edge. Mm -hmm. Follow the instructions given on the recipe and press the button as the needle points to the corresponding ingredient to add them to the pot. Oh. And just as a reminder to everyone, there is a limit to the amount of mistakes you can make while creating a seasoning. So be no. sure to make the best of each chance with as little mistakes as possible. Otherwise, you'll have to start over again. Add the correct number of ingredients before you use up all your attempts, and you will succeed. Oh. So, Zach, yeah. what you're saying is, for this event, the pressure cooker is on. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, Stop with the puns. I had to. I'm sorry. Oh gosh! Good, no, you did It also hurt. That was, you know, that was quite fire, as they say. Oh, oh my! Stop! No. God damn it! Oh, okay. Seriously, like, oh, gosh, this looks like we'll need little hand-eye coordination for this one. Oh yeah. Totally. Yeah. The heat is on. Thank God video games develop that. Oh, no. Play video games, kids. They'll what develop your hand-eye coordination. Okay, guys. So. By adding seasonings you created to delicious dishes, you can obtain fragrant dishes. Travelers may invite characters to taste test the fragrant dishes in their Serena teapot really? to increase their companionship XP. Cool. Just keep in mind that the character's personal preferences also vary. Oh, okay. That's right. It'll be the perfect opportunity to test how well travelers really know their characters. Yeah. Mm. Do a little studying. Totally. <laughs> In version 2.6, we will be receiving a new challenge event called Vibro Crystal Research. We find a researcher from Fontaine on the outskirts of the chasm studying the harmonic motion transmitted between gems known as Vibro Crystals. 
if we connect transmitter and receiver crystals and attempt to produce various effects, then we can defeat the enemies and obtain great rewards. In case that's a little confusing, why don't you explain yeah, what the transmitter and receiver crystals are first and what kind of effects the reactions can make? Oh, right. Oh, sure it's always thing. a domain, so okay. After the player configures their own vibro crystal setup, they will obtain different oh, combat Please don't tell me this is that this is like potions of end. Triggers for please the don't, because the potions of end are the ones that like the fragrances once or whatever that was in like oh, two updates ago. That was torture. I hated that event with a passion. Uh, did, did you pull that out of your sleeve? Again? Stop doing that. I always have boba. <laughs> what are you sharing? <laughs> because this is my boba. You can still share. <laughs> oh, please, with your sister. Please. Okay. Let's get back to it. I don't understand okay, the so event, but that's funny. Each challenge is split into two battles, which will require travelers to compose two teams for the challenge, as well as different vibro crystal setups. This had better not course, be like an arduous, really annoying some trial that was quick. to help everyone complete the challenge. Mm -hmm. Defeating enemies will award points, and travelers will be given an insignia based on their score. It's going to be awesome, so be sure to give it a shot. Yeah, All sounds right. great. Interesting. Mm-hmm. In the new version, travelers will be receiving a commission from an Inazuman artist. She'll ask us to use the camera to take pictures of scenery in different nations as inspiration for her illustrations. Seems like the traveler has literally gained the trust of people everywhere. <laughs> that just means they're going to be busy for a very, very long time. Oh, hey, right. In the photo notes, we'll be able to see comments from the artist and understand her requirements to complete the photo. Oh, capturing landscapes for inspiration. Sounds pretty... Cool, photo elegant. event. And you would know about being elegant. <laughs> yeah, duh. This Trick event extent. will definitely be on the more relaxing side of things. What could be better than exploring and earning Primo Gems? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nothing, really. And travelers will definitely find a ton of great photo spots to remember in the process. And mm. finally, in addition to all the events we've already mentioned, Leyline Overflow will be returning once again for again? version 2.6. Nice. I'm not Travelers complaining. Leyline Overflow is always great, but for more that's surprising. You definitely don't want to miss the chance to get some more Mora and character EXP materials. Oh, yeah. Yes. All right. I think that just about does it for all the events we have coming our way in version 2.6. Next, let's talk about some system updates and optimizations to the game. First, we have an optimization to the game's mobile version. After the update, travelers will be able to tap and hold on the icons of the characters in their party to quickly bring up the party set. Oh, cool! Nice. Cool for mobile players. So it'll be way easier for the mobile players to open up their party setup and do some changes. Yeah, totally. Yeah, also, there will be multiple improvements coming to the tutorial's archive system, making it easier for travelers to reference. Oh, cool. Uh, first, the tutorial icon will always stick next to the mini-map on the upper left for new players, making it easier to that. access the tutorial's archive. Mm -hmm. Plus, players will be able to quickly locate the tutorials know. they viewed recently, and the system will even remember where in the tutorial you last left off. Finally, in the Living Beings archive, the tutorial button will be adjusted to a more obvious location. That all sounds pretty handy. Yeah. 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 Good stuff. And last but certainly not least, during version 2.6, Genshin Impact will be releasing the second OST album for the Inazuma region, Yay. Islands of the Lost and Forgotten. Yes. The album will be comprised of a total of three discs featuring music from Seirai Island, Watatsumi Island, Surumi Island, and Enkonomiya, as well as some epic combat music. Oh, I can't wait. I hope <laughs> everyone will enjoy listening to that gorgeous music. I know I will. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, I hate to say it, but I'm out of boba. Oh, and <sighs> we've done come to the end of the version 2.6 special program. No! What? I was I just know. gonna ask you for some boba. Sorry, you... all gone. I thought you kept so many in your sleeve. What now happened to all, all of my... them? They're in my tummy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you could have shared. <laughs> but as Ayaka would say, I only wish life could be as leisurely as this a little more often. Oh, I know, right? How greedy of me. But, hey, it won't be that long before the next version drops. That's right. True. 
So, um, I'm really excited for everything. I'm excited for everybody to meet Ayato. Uh, I'm really excited to explore the spooky chasm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, man, there's a lot of cool stuff coming out in this version. Yeah, I'm also, of course, looking forward to Ayato. I finally get to meet my brother, which is super exciting for me. <laughs> um, I also am really looking forward to the soundtrack just because, oh, man, the music in this game is so good. Yes. I just, uh, it'll be cool getting to, you know, just chill out and, and listen to it. And, oh, man, I just can't wait. <laughs> yeah. And not only am I excited for the chasm area, but also <laughs> the Discord just came out saying, oh, the 2.6 program is about to begin. It just finished. And how uh, the Traveler will interact with him. And also, you guys rock this special program. It's been so much fun yeah. doing this with you. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. It was super fun. Yeah. So the new version will be landing on March 30th. Be sure to mark your calendars and be ready to play. <laughs> and we hope everyone will enjoy all that 2.6 has to offer. I look forward to seeing everyone enjoy the festival in Inazuma. Yeah. And just a reminder, travelers can keep an eye out for future official announcements for more information on the coming version. All right. Well, that's it for us today. Thanks, everybody. Thank and you. see you in game. Yay. Thanks, guys. See ya. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> cool. Is that, is it just, it just froze. Okay. All right, cool. Um, I fucking called Chris Hackney as the voice of, uh, Ayato. I'm so chuffed about that. Um, there's a lot, there's a lot of cool stuff going on. I don't know if I like this better than I'm going to like Lantern Right, but I am decently, at least, I am decently excited. I am decently excited for this. Uh, I'm going to try and roll for both Venti and Ayato, but I feel like it's going to go wrong. Uh, considering this is Venti's third rerun, he's not likely to get another one anytime soon. So I'm going to try gunning for him first and then probably wait for Ayato to get a rerun. Problem is, what if I end up liking the character in his rerun um, better? So I'm going to try going for both, but we'll see how that goes. So anyway, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye. I see it, I see it, and now